Hallelujah. Only she sounds very funny when she calls me Bishop. <laughs> you are. No, it sounds funny. I am, but from you, it sounds a little bit funny. Are you happy with the house of the Lord? Yes. Hallelujah. And you're welcome. Thank you for coming with you. Is that your daughter? You're welcome. Wow. wow. It's good to have you in the house. So when you talk about visitors, I saw one did not stand. And her service could have been the fourth one or the earlier one. So she did not stand. But we're here to bless the name of the Lord. We are glad that you have chosen to come and worship with us. God is good. All the time. Things are bad. Things are into it so that you look at a neighbor you tell him what things are but first of all save them and then you turn to them so prepare yourself god is good all the time things are getting better and better and better look at a neighbor next to you tell them which things and don't be so spiritual you know some of us run into the spiritual Hallelujah. Once you're through, we're going to sing a song that I love very much. What a fellowship, what a joy divine. And then you we will see it. I will preach for a short while and I'll pray for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. What a fellowship, what a joy divine. Psalm 24, verse 7 
and 10. Psalm 24, verse 7 to 10. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Hallelujah. And be lifted up, you everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Lift up ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I don't know whether you have found you have a situation that you don't know what to do. Could be financial, could be domestic, could be even education, could be you could be a landlord issue, could be a promotional issue. You don't know what to do, and there it has happened. Could be sickness. You find yourself you don't know what to do. And this is where David finds himself, and I have entitled what I'm sharing many things, and you can call it many things. But one of it is gates. Because I have discovered in life, and particularly now that I want to be a billionaire, or tell your neighbor, Bishop wants to be a billionaire. You know, it sounds so nice. <laughs> the other day, was it last Sunday when I talked about it, and I said, if you're a billionaire, you can eat a million every month for 83 plus years. Now, who wants to live 83 years? Or you want to live more? All right, become a billionaire, and you'll be taking only 1 million every month for 83 years plus. When I thought about it, then I said, God, how would I become a billionaire when I was born? <laughs> Fortunately, thank God, poverty where I come from, you could hold it and put it in your pocket. That's how serious poverty was. But this is David, and David is having some challenges. He writes the, the book of Psalms, a lot of the Psalms are written by David, but he is writing in reaction to what is happening, but he refuses to mention what is happening, but mentions what God can do. He talks about the struggle he had with his son, but he doesn't say he's struggling with his son. He talks about God who can deliver. In Psalms 23, where is a very good place to start, David, with all the things that are happening, he says, the Lord is my shepherd. Period. I shall not want period he's the one who is talking to himself if the lord becomes your shepherd then you shall not want the struggles that are there he narrates them the struggle of food the struggle of security the struggle of peace he even gets to a place he says even death if i walk under or through or above the shadow of death i shall fear no evil then he comes to psalms 24 and I love this. I love it because David starts in a different way. He says this in verse number one. The earth is the Lord's. It's a very good place for us to start. Oh, there are things that I don't know what to do. But he starts by saying the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. You know, sometimes you don't know what to do. The landlord is there, sickness is there, finances are there. But the best place for you to start is to start where you know what all these things belong to who? The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Even the people who live there. When I was thinking about this, I thought, the landlord is talking about kicking you out. Don't argue with him. Relax in your spirit. But go in your closet and declare this house belongs to the Lord and even the people who own it. Because what that will do will prepare you for the time of the question. He says because God is awesome, he can establish and he has established actually the earth upon the waters. Yani mungu hana shida na foundation. You know, you and I, tukinunua plot mpale, kuna cotton soil. 
Si tunaanza ku complain. Sasa hapa ni time namna gani? God is not actually worried whether it is cotton soil or there is water, he can establish, he can build, he can lay his foundation because that's where he has laid the foundation of this world. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And then he gets to the question that he was asking himself. He's asking, who is this person who can ascend to the holy hill or the mountain of God? Where he is, he, he doesn't know. Who can do it? Who can do this? Who can get closer to the Lord? Who can even stand in the presence of the Lord? Who is this person? And David answers himself. He's the one who is talking to him. I don't know whether you have talked to yourself and answered to yourself. One time I, uh, in this church, we, we had a very wonderful preacher. Very good preacher. He was a member. And then he decided to leave church. So he left church. And you know, because, let me tell you, if you're a leader, don't leave. Don't sneak out. Leave officially. Let's come and pray for you. And you'll be blessed. <coughs> so this preacher just sneaked, disappeared. A couple of months I was told where he's going to church. And then finally we met. Actually he came to my office. And then I asked him, why did you leave the church? He said, I left this church because, Bishop, how come you are... You don't preach all the time. I just listened. And then he said, Ah, I know. You are developing people. He answered himself. And then I said, You have answered yourself. That's what I do. Why did you leave? He had no answer. David is asking himself, Who will do it? And then he answers himself. Don't you think we have the answer? I think you need to tell your neighbor, actually, the answer that you're looking for, you have the answer. Actually, let, let's do it even better. Tell him you have the question and you have the answer. Now, which one do you want to start with? Question or answer? Now, tell them. If you, if you fear them, locate where you are. You know? Tell them, wewe ndi uko na swali, na wewe ndi uko na jibu. I don't know whether you have gone to someone and you are asking a question and you have an answer. You only want whether they can confirm to your answer. Why don't you tell them the answer first? So that then you can tell them the question, then they can tell you whether the answer was right. But a lot of us, you is like, unajaribu mtu. Na we unajua tu. Kwanza wengine, hata hakikuambia shuka, badu utapanda. Ulikuja tu kutaka kuambia panda panda. We, si ushuke. Ha, si you know, an illustration is given of this uh, this man who was falling from a cliff. I think you have heard the story. When he was falling, he rolled out from the car and he was rolling. Then, kibahati, kibahati, kimiujiza, miujiza tu. Mikono siya natupa hivi na hivi. Akashika kitu. Kitu. Akashika kitu. Kumbe ni kuwa ni muli. Muli? Is a root. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes you wonder, what is a muri? <laughs> so he held the root and then he called out, Is there anyone there? Save me! And they heard the voice of the Lord. I'm there. I want to save you. Release yourself. Then he thought, he looked down. Is there anyone there? You know, many times we want another answer. We don't, because we, we, oh, yes, thank you, Salome. Thank you. So he had an answer. He said, no, the person who can do it is this person who has a clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. And this is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek his face. Blessed be the name of the Lord. What are gates? Have you ever thought about gates? Gates. Matthew 16 verse 18 says, And I also say unto thee, That thou art Peter, And upon this rock I will build my church, And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. In John 10.10 it 10, says, The thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, And that they might have it, 
more abundantly. Matthew 11, 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent will take it by force. Doors. Maybe let's, let's, let's look a little bit. A standard gate is usually a dual double leaf. Sidio, kama ile iko pale, inafuguka kwa pande bili. Kwa sababu gate kufuguka kwa pande moja inaweza hinges, inaweza kukua na shida. A standard one. Movable barrier hinged to a fence or wall, which open or shuts to grant or deny access to persons, animals, or vehicles. In the simplest sense, it is a barrier designed to lock friends either in because they are friends and to lock your enemies out. That's what the gate is all about. Gates are erected to control entry and exit into a house. Maybe a house block or a block of apartments, office complex, or a church like ours. Institutions like KU, you see how you cannot enter from anywhere else apart from the gates that they have. These gates also are built where you have animals for protecting your animals, like animal pens, car parks, sports stadiums, entertainment uh, venues, national parks, military garrisons like our garrison, Power and water plants are protected. Airport, oh my goodness, airport, seaports, and country borders. There are gates there. The construction materials of gates are made of different materials that include metal or wood. Designs and workmanship, actually nowadays if you're going to make a gate, they tell you, do you want a Nigerian one? Do you know the difference between a Kenyan and a Nigerian gate? The Nigerian gates are beautiful. Si unayona Afro cinema. They are very, very beautiful. Beauty to convey a message of status and worth of a place or content will be shown by the gate. Gates are technical human reinforcements. When it is necessary to increase security due to the real potential danger or importance of what, was, of what is within the gate, gadgets such, such as CCT cameras, sensor lights so that lights just go when you appear, when I grow, okay, when I become a billionaire. There will be lights for every color. If you are wearing black, so that I can know you are not a good person. If you are wearing color, you know all those things are possible. Well, that they are possible. Anyway, I can rank you. Mutu mwuzi ya kikuja inawaka. Mweupe ya kikuja nikiwa dana juwa uyo ni muzungu. Oh, it's amazing. Sensor lights. Luggage scanners. ETC, like we have been scanning you as you came in, not because we don't trust you, but we trust you so much, and your security is our security, so we have to do it. Yes. Amen. Every time they stop me anywhere, I put off my car engine, and I tell the guy, Sachi, I know, your security is my security. When do you want me to open for Na kwa sababu Volkswagen hii na yuko na kamlango kigine. Kwanza unaona na vruta mlango na vruta mlango ya nyuma ya boot. Na kitu kako kadogo sana. Kwa hiyo nifungue, nikuje nikufungulie. Eh. I open. Why? Because that is the requirement today because there is lack of security. Human reinforcement. Again, there are gatekeepers, askaris, security men, watchmen, soldiers. Some are armed with rungus. Others with, with guns, others with bows and arrows, whistles and stones. I know some of you saying, each of stones. Yeah, there are some security guys who have stones. Then we have backup systems like security farms that have mobile backup and rescue units, 
so that if there is any alarm system going up, even here in church, if it goes off, they have about 10, 15 minutes, you will see the security firm here to come and ask what is happening. Gates. You can have gates that are makeshift. Gate ambayo umeitengeneza kiholera holera. When I moved to Kawasukari, we did not have gates. On us, well. Not me only, most of us. Because I think we were running from the landlords. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Ameni surubua. Sukari ni jenge tuingie. Yani weke murango moja ya kuingia. Na maybe murango igine moja ya kutoka. Na moja ya bathroom hile ya mkubwa. Hizo zigine zote zikae tu. Tukisupiri kwa na Yesu. So one, a couple, a couple, one day, tumelala kumenyesha mvua. Tukia muka asubu, tukakuta gari, ili ya mua, haitai kukalia migu yake, inataka kukanyanga sakafu. Oh, some of you know what that means. Kuna jamali kuja katua tu, tairizo, ho, 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 te. Katuachia gari me, ipe guza flow. Unfortunately, haikuwa gari yako. Kwa ni meomba. So anyway, I bought them rims and uh, repair it. So if your gate is a makeshift, then your enemies can come in. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So even for your own self, as a spiritual precaution, you need to have gates that are strong enough. Gates that are strong enough. In the Bible days, gates served us for security. But more than security, gates were where people decided what was going to happen in the city. It is outside the gate that judgments were done, like this woman that was caught in the very act, she was taken out, so that she can be stoned outside. It is in the gates of Sodom and Gomorrah where we find Lot, he's met there by the angel. Why? He was a leader. He was one of the officials of the city. Because a lot of uh, things used to happen at the gate. The, 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 the mayors, uh, okay, the palace of the DO and the DC, whatever you call them, was out there. Between the big gate, there was also another gate. And it is between the big gate and the other gate where there was also a place for judgment. So a lot of things happened at the gate. That was the, what was happening there. So in the Bible, the men of God understood the importance of gates and what they stood for. Hence, in their prayers, the constant refrain was, and let thy seed possess the gate of those who hate you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I know some of you are wondering, where is that in the Bible? It is in the book of Genesis 24. This is God telling Abraham, wewe watoto wako, watapossess malango ya maadu. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In other words, they will take over. And may the Lord do the same to you. May you and your seed possess the gates of your enemies. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. We see the same repeated in the same book of Genesis when the angel of God prayed for Father Abraham in verse number 17. Genesis 22 verse 17. And thy seed shall possess the gates of his enemy. The gates of Jericho, Joshua 6 and 1, we read how the people of Jericho effectively utilized the purpose of their erecting gates. Now Jericho was strictly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none could come in. Why did they shut their gates? Their gates were shut because of the great fear of Israel military might and ability. They feared them. Military power and might. So the story is best told in the words of Rahab, the harlot in the book of Joshua. Chapter 2, verse 9 and 10. And she said unto them, I know that the Lord hath given you the land, and that your terror is fallen upon us, and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. For you have heard how the Lord dried up the waters of the Red Sea for you when you came out of Egypt. And what you did to the two kings of the Amorites that were on the other side of Jordan, Shion and Og, whom you utterly destroyed. 
So the potential threat that the nation of Israel posed against Jericho and the people around them was terror. So for them to protect themselves, they had to shut the gates. Hallelujah. They had to protect themselves so that it doesn't happen to them. So Jericho was scared. The gate is the, the gate. The people of Jericho, they heard of the military exploit of Israel when coming of, out of Egypt. And how they have destroyed several powerful kings in battle. So the gates were important in the ancient city. May gates also become important for you. May erect strong gates for you. In your mind, in your spirit, and in your lifestyle. Blessed be the name of the Lord. They gave the only way of passing through the wall. And they, they gave the only way of passing through the wall. And were normally closed at night. And were strengthened by bars and brass of iron. The gate... The wall of Jericho was wide. You could drive around. It was big. Even the wall of Jerusalem was wide. You could walk up. The whole military would walk up there. So they were not making walls like the ones we have made for Deliverance Church Kasarani in Chisita. No, it was a massive wall for protection and guiding them. The gate is the name given to a very important place of concourse. Partly because it was an open space. And usually found elsewhere in the city. Much of the business of the city was done there. Even the story of Ruth. For her to be married by that wonderful brother. Who later became the great grandfather of David. Who later became the great, 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 great grandfather of our Lord Jesus Christ. Boaz. The story was discussed at the gate. That's where they did all that. So safety has always been the paramount reason for erecting gates in both old times and now. Both physically and spiritual gates. Note that whoever controls the gate has dominion, has power in his grip. If there is someone controlling your gate, he has the power to manipulate you. Whoever, if you allow the Lord to get hold of your gate, blessed are you. If you allow the devil or any situation to get hold of you, they have power over you and they will control you. May the good Lord help us. If you lose control of a gate, then you are in big trouble. Because this is the same as to voluntarily give submission to the will and purpose of the one who was overtaken and got a hold of your gate and got a power over you to control you. He comes in and out the way he wants. So allowing the person or the enemy or unwanted intruder make decisions over you and what is yours, including the making of decisions that will cause you, that this will cause you harm, loss, torment, destruction. In the physically, emotional, and spiritual areas, of an individual. Now those are gates. But then as you enter from the gates, there are doors. Doors are inside. Protecting precious your life, precious things that you have, you have a door. You have a gate, then you have a door. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And if you don't have a gate, may the Lord give you a gate one of these days. Amen. Having only a door is very dangerous. You know, Zimama, when we had only doors, by the time you hear poop, the guy is inside. So that body called a mawe up or eating my air nine. Would I go to Maishi Zimama? Ruth, say to Maishi Zimama. Now I could call what one of the Nayo Kimame, because I'm a good bit. Put on a fugu of Kimai Kukupa from Lang. Who is here? Poop, they are inside. Oh, it was very scary. Would I have poop? What could I do? Therefore, where we could have a torotoro and in the lady. Now, what do you do? So, a gate is better. One time they stole in my place here. And when they were leaving the gate, I had Kamurango, come on. Then I looked at it. I told Alice, where will the do? Happened to one and one gap. Don't try this at home. It's very dangerous. Me, I chased them. My neighbors had come with Mapanga, so we chased them. And then I recovered a few speakers. And, uh, the TV where it was put, I recovered it. But 
and speaker disappeared. There were not many, but don't try it. When you hear poop, you better call the police. Might be better for you. But there are doors leading to strongholds. And some of the strongholds, and there are many strongholds that we have kept, like unforgiveness, addictions, selfishness, idolatry, greed, hate. Those are doors that we need to deal with. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So doors are there. And they come, first of all, to intimidate us that we cannot go through. But you know what? They are, my blessings are there. A door of pain and sorrow, behind it is my, where my safety is. So I will not be scared or afraid. I want to ask like David, who can do it? Who can go before the Lord? Who can stand in your presence? Who can overcome? I want this person who can overcome. And after David said all these things, he gets to a place he realizes the person who can overcome, he is called the king of glory. Amen. And my prayer is that God will, will allow the king of glory to come inside us so that when we are going to possess the gates of our enemy, when we will say, declare like David, you gates, you be lifted up, you doors, be open. Why? Because the king of glory cannot be shut out. You cannot hold on to my blessings. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. David is chased by Saul. But he realizes he has to turn around and declare. The king of glory is with me. Therefore there is no gate. Amen. There is no door that can hold the blessings that God has for me. And I want to speak to someone here. Because I know there are doors. There are gates there. They are holding us down, doors of promotion, gates of promotion, doors of sickness, poverty, lack of, lack of hell. And those are gates, and we need to declare, you gates, time is up for you now. You have to be lifted up. And I say this because some of those gates are stronger than you. The Lord has to do it for us. The doors, the gates have to be lifted up. So what? The king of glory in me can get through. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So that I can get my possession. I can get what is mine. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There is a lot of scare in this world. You, you, you are scared. You wake up in the morning. And you can see where your resources are. But you cannot go through. Why? There are politicians holding it. You know like nowadays I have discovered. Any open land is public. Touch it. The public will have a problem and you have nowhere to go. Amazing. Si hapa nilikuwa nimeuziwa na watu wako na title nzuri hapa. Ikata tu. Nika search zilikuwa nzuri. Nikatuma watu wa cafes. Na nikawatuma na kakoto na simiti. <laughs> na vikingi. Ikifika saa saba, walikuwa wamerudi hapa. Hiyo ilikuwa siku ya kwanza. Nikamwambia aliye niuzia, hiyo si talipa hata nuru baka to fence. Akasema sasa endeni hata polisi tumewapeleka tutawasimamia. So hatukwenda siku ya pili, tukaenda siku ya tatu. Ndio wajaluo walijaa pale. <coughs> Najua wengine mnasema mungiki, mungiki ni kikuyu. Mungiki ni watu wote. Hiyo mungiki inakuwa kwa watu wao, watu wote wakaanguka pale. Wewe kijana gari tutachoma. So, Joroge, what I swear? Kagu, your coin. You did your coin, Joroge. Kagu, your coin. See, I'm a possess. I could have my title up, I like it, what I'm possess. So, what will happen? After seven years, they will claim the land will be theirs. Where? In this country. So, am I telling you something? If you have an open plot somewhere, Jake at all. Seriously, dig something and make a tool. Jamani utanyang'ani kwa shamba yako. Ama wita Masai wajenge dini yao pale wao wakileta ngombe wa kizari hivya wanazileta pale you are safe. So this is what David is saying out of the struggle that he has reaches to a place he said gates have to be lifted up. To be what? 
to be lifted up. And I know you are looking at me and you are wondering, Bishop, here I am and I'm so intimidated. I told you last Sunday, refuse to be intimidated. That's what Paul was telling us from the book of Ephesians. To refuse to be intimidated. It doesn't matter where you are, whether in prison or outside. You refuse to be intimidated. Nobody should take advantage of you. Gates should be lifted up. Gates should be lifted up. Gates should be lifted up. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And it is you who know which gates is disturbing you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now if there is something that amazes me is our religion. That you are dini. Kama sani kukwambia utoe ushuda kukwambia tirani yako. Unajua vile utasema. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. I love the Lord Jesus. Because you know that's what they want to hear. Oh, my week was blessed. Since, since I came to the meeting here with the ladies, you know the, the daughters of impact? We were five of us. I hope all the brothers that came with me can still remember some of the things we learned. One of it we learned is that there is an answer that comes from it is called official. Yes, Washington, official. Official is what you want to hear from. But the truth of the matter is, be yourself. Yes. I am happy. Mm -hmm. Like me, hate me. I am happy. Because that is the truth. From there now I'm telling people, which one do you want to hear? I have told Francis several times. Because he likes asking me, how are you? I ask him, do you want this one? Because we were with him. Do you want this one or do you want this one? So when he tells me this one, I tell him, everything is not right. But if you want this, I tell him it's okay. <clears throat> if you want God to lift you up and to lift the gates that you have, learn to declare it. I want to, to say this because I want to finish. David knows there are gates. Where does he start? He declares, first of all, the earth is the Lord and the fullness. You have to pump yourself. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. He's the one who established it. He can build it on the waters. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Who can stand before God? The one with holy hands, clean heart, the one that has not been deceitful. That person can stand. And then you start declaring, you doors, you gate, be lifted up. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It is like you pump yourself, you pump yourself. The earth is the Lord, the earth is the Lord. So that you can look at what has been disturbing you. And the more you say it is like you are getting like that. Uh, what was it? Because if you continue doing like everything else becomes smaller and, and you get bigger, it is up to you. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. I don't care where you are at the moment. If the earth is the Lord, start confessing it and you look at the other things very little. Psalms 23, David starts by saying, the Lord is the shepherd. He builds himself. He knows that he cannot lack anything. I want nothing. Then he comes to chapter 24. He declares the earth is the Lord. I want to charge you, my brother, my sister. Yes, I know you are unwell. There is some terminal illness. I know financially you are low. I know you cannot even pay school fees. You want to go to school, you have a challenge. You have domestic challenges. But I give you an antidote. If you want to come out, start declaring within you. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Because what you have is so little and it belongs to God. And the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. And everything that is in there. Go around some of these um, houses. Landlord and Mekutisha, eh? Zunguka. You know, I told somebody somewhere, I think it was yesterday. Cornerstone was started because a Christian who loved me, we were fellowshipping. We did tonight's Shrikia. I did think I would be Christian. We were fellowshipping. Then I asked, hey, should I have you a discipline? A sister actually, Dada Mzuri, but she used a language that Kama nige peda kukasirika, nige kasirika. Because she never used this one, she used this one. Enda ukaanze yenu. By the way, situlianza. Enda ukaanze yenu. And I picked that without reacting. 
We started ours. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And I'm Kanunua Yako. Pick it. Don't argue with that matato tout. Pick it. If they have seen you can buy yours. Go and buy it. The landlord did it. Hama Ukajenga Yako. Pick it. Because they are this the Lord in the fullness. They are off. And I'm Kakufia Uko Unakanzo Hio. Unasema Siede Kufia Uko. Nanda Kuishia Uko. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Every negative. You cancel every positive, you get it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's all stand up. The name of the Lord is a strong time. The righteous run into and they are singing the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into and they are singing. Mighty is the name of the Lord. Mighty is the name of the Lord. following as I was sharing and you're saying Bishop they have said it now I need faith to go and do it if you're there come we want to pray for you right now in the mighty name of Jesus can I ask the ministry team to do it quickly come let us pray let's thank God let's believe God it has been said to you go and possess it pick it run with it in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah May it come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Go and do it in the mighty name of Jesus. May it come to pass. May you go and do it in the name of the Lord. May it come to pass. May you go and do it in the name of the Lord. May you go and do it in the name of the Lord. May it come to pass in the name of the Lord. May it come to pass in the name of the Lord. May it come to pass in the name of the Lord. May it come to pass in the name of the Lord. May it come to pass in the name of the Lord. May it come to pass in the name of the Lord. Yes, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it. And they are saying, may it come to pass in the name of the Lord. May it come to pass in the name of the Lord. Yes, may it come to pass in the name of the Lord. Yes. In the name of Jesus, may it come to pass in the name of the Lord. May it come to pass in the name of the Lord. May it come to pass in the name of Jesus. May it come to pass in the name of the Lord. Yes, may it come to pass in the name of the Lord. May it come to pass in the name of the Lord. May it come to pass in the name of the Lord. May it come to pass in the name of the Lord. May the Lord grant it to you in the name of the Lord. May it come to pass in the name of the Lord. May the Lord bring it to you. May the Lord give you revelation. May the Lord fill you. With his grace, may the Lord come and meet you at the point of your very need in the name of the Lord. Yes, the name of the Lord is the strong tower. The righteous, oh yes, may the Lord bring it upon. May the Lord bring it upon in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bring it upon. 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 May the Lord bring it upon in the name of the Lord. May the Lord bring it upon. May the Lord bring it upon. May the Lord bring it upon. May the Lord bring it upon in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord bring it to pass in the name of the Lord. Yes, let the Lord bring it to pass. Let the Lord bring it to pass. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord bring it to pass. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord bring it to pass. May the Lord bring it to pass. Let the Lord bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. Break down the door of the Lord. Yes, let the Lord bring it to pass. Let the Lord bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. Yes, let the Lord bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. Break down the door.
Thereof is the Lord and the fullness thereof. We declare to you, gates be lifted up. You Asian doors swing open. That I may go through with the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? He is the strong and in battle. He is the Lord Almighty. Devil, you come to me with the gates. You come with me with a javelin. You come with me with intimidation. But I am coming to you in the name of the Lord, the God of the mighty army, in whom you have despised in the name of Jesus. Thou get be lifted up. 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 Hallelujah. Let's make some noise in the house of the Lord. Let's pray. May the Lord grant you a good week. Amen.